Welcome to our tech exploration video. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from the developer community. Our viewer asks, how can we mimic acrylic, the stunning glass-like material introduced in Microsoft's Fluent Design within a traditional Win32 application? This is a fascinating challenge, especially since acrylic is primarily designed for XAML and UWP environments. Let's dive into the details and uncover how we can achieve a similar effect using Win32 APIs. All right, guys, we're back with another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find your solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To mimic acrylic in a Win32 application, we first need to understand the concept of glass-like effects. Acrylic provides a translucent background with a tint and noise texture. We'll use the Windows API to achieve a similar effect. The first step is to enable the glass effect in your Win32 application. You can do this by using the Set Layered Window Attributes function. This allows you to create a layered window that supports transparency. Next, to achieve the tint effect, you can use the DWM API, specifically the DWM Set Window Attribute function. This lets you set the color of the glass effect. You can define a color that will tint the background. For the noise texture, you can overlay a semi-transparent bitmap on top of your window. This bitmap should contain a noise pattern that simulates the acrylic texture. You can render this using GDI or Direct2D. Finally, if your application uses DirectX for rendering, you can take advantage of more advanced effects. DirectX allows for more complex blending and rendering techniques, which can enhance the acrylic mimicry. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. You can mimic acrylic effects in a Win32 app using the Win32 API. First, you can achieve blur and tinting with the Set Window Composition Attribute function, which relies on the Desktop Window Manager. The Exclusion Blend feature is unclear, as it seems minimal based on screenshots. For noise texture, you can create it using alpha blended noise, possibly with a random generator or Perlin noise function. Additionally, consider using direct composition with the WSEX NOR Direction Bitmap Extended Window Style for better performance. This technology is linked to XAML, expanding your options. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To mimic the acrylic effect in a Win32 app, you can use the DWM and Direct Composition APIs on Windows 10. First, copy the DWM thumbnail contents into an ID Composition visual to create the backdrop. Then, apply the ID Composition Gaussian Blur effect to blur it. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution that you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.